minerals prospecting and exploration key points introduction minerals prospecting and exploration cover a wide range of earth science disciplines including geology geochemistry geophysics and remote sensing which incorporates satellite imagery and a multispectral data interpretation new laboratory Techniques and computer aids are used for modeling and understanding the genesis of ore deposits. Prospecting Although prospecting and minerals exploration are widely considered synonymous, there are still some regions in the world where prospecting is considered the initial, more primitive phase of exploration. Exploration refers to semi-detailed or more advanced detailed studies. Prospecting can help locate sites that, after a former exploration program, may result in an ore deposit discovery. Although prospecting and minerals exploration are widely considered synonymous, there are still some regions in the world where prospecting is considered the initial more primitive phase of exploration. Exploration refers to semi-detailed or more advanced detailed studies. Prospecting can help locate sites that after a former exploration program may result in an ore deposit discovery. Ancient prospecting began with panning in creeks and river beds and continued with the physical exploration of surrounding hills. In modern prospecting, metal detectors and artisanal heavy mineral concentrators are still used. In more advanced placer mining operations, dragon lines and high capacity gravity, magnetic and centrifugal classification and concentration equipment are used successfully. A new generation of optical and laser mineral operators separators have also been introduced. Minerals Exploration The main objective of minerals exploration is to locate ore deposits, which are anomalous accumulations of one or more minerals that can be mined at a profit. Drilling is the most reliable, more expensive technique used to confirm or deny the existence of an ore deposit, but new methods and the technologies are still being developed. An additional objective of mineral exploration today is to find significant expansion, extensions of pre-existing deposits associated with operating or abandoned mines. Increased understanding of ore deposit modeling using statistical analysis Computer technology and new laboratory methods provides the explorationist with powerful tools for discovering new deposits in the subsurface, including deposits extending from previously known or partially mined ore bodies. Broadly classified, new deposits may be considered either as outcropping surface or concealed subsurface. Discovery of concealed deposits at shallow depths requires the integration of various advanced technological methods for primary assessment. Sound exploration methods are the most valued tools for the geological characteristics. Exploration geologists, whose primary objective is to identify the geological characteristics of a mineralized system that can lead to the discovery of an ore body. These characteristics must include geological, lithogeochemical, isotopic, and petrochemical features. Physical properties of both altered and unaltered host rocks, structural and tectonic framework, and any other relevant relationships of the mineralizing events in terms of time and space. The exploration geologist must identify specific factors that control the mineralization in an area, district, or province, and using multidisciplinary methods see through. 
any post mineralization cover to determine the possibility of a concealed deposit. Geological surveys, varying in detail and scale, are fundamental to all exploration programs. Geological interpretation must rely on additional techniques and disciplines such as field mapping, geomorphology, sedimentology and stratigraphy, mineralogy, geotechnical engineering, metallurgy, topography, structural geology and tectonics, petrology and petrography, geostatics, hydrogeology, geothermometry, and geochemistry. The three major methods that integrate all geological observations in former exploration programs are number one, exploration geochemistry, number two, geophysical exploration, number three, ore deposits. In regional exploration, geochemistry begins with stream sediment surveys followed by detailed sampling of soil and rock. Regional area for geophysics, such as magnetic, radioactive, and electromagnetic methods, have proven very useful in helping to delineate major structures and in identifying lithology, overburden, and concealed mineralization. In some specific cases, area gravimetric technology has been applied, but not with great success. Area photography continues to be extremely useful and the internet allows the downloading of mono and polychromatic images of nearly every part of the Earth's surface, often free of charge. In the second phase of an exploration program, analysis of survey data and methodologies are selected and applied. The depth of subsurface exploration depends on the mineral commodity. Only a very few minerals such as diamonds and high-grade gold and platinum group metals have sufficient unit value to support deep exploration. In a subsequent stage, local geological studies collect structural, stratigraphic, lithologic and petrochemical data. All spatial and temporal relations between different rock types must be defined. Here, spatial means involving or having the nature of space is called the spatial. And temporal means arrangement of events in time is called the temporal. Normal weathering and erosion as well as tectonic processes often make direct observation of mineral deposits difficult. However, weather materials can be excellent indicators of mineralization. Computer databases, geographic information systems, and statistical and analytical methods are used to organize and study the geological data. The next step typically is to sample and test the potential target directly by diamond core and a reverse circulation drilling. Core samples allow the direct observation of the rock for more detailed geological, geotechnical, and structural data. The primary problem for the exploration geologist is finding anomalous mineral accumulations in accessible locations with grades that will make their extraction, processing, and marketing profitable. Modern exploration involves an initial reconnaissance visit, followed by a more intensive exploration program if warranted. Very few ore bodies are discovered today as a result of only one geological visit. The high cost of exploration can be reduced by applying additional methods of scientific evaluation rationally. post mineralization cover Industrialized countries will continue to be the major consumers of mineral raw materials, while developing countries will continue to be the main providers. Talented exploration geologists will be more in demand, along with the use of technologies 
some of which still need defining, refining, and even discovery. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and share.